Warning, this video contains unorthodox methods of pest control. If you're at all triggered by this style of pest control or don't understand how damaging pests can be, this video is not for you. Ooh, I've just noticed this uh, curious ant activity up on our front fence. And I'm also noticing uh, one of those nasty caterpillars that was like in the infestation I had at my place that defoliated the tree. And if you're wondering about the tree the mass of caterpillars was on, well that's it there now, months and months later. It's totally defoliated, not a thing growing on that tree. I think it's going to die. I'm back at the timber which is laying at the back of my front fence here and I'm really curious about what's going on inside here. Oh no! Oh no! It's those goddamn caterpillars, they're back, it's an infestation! I don't like the look at this at all, I believe there'll be more in here. I can see them trying to crawl inside the space there and I'm going to move these somewhere else and deal with these caterpillars. Yep, there's more there, look at that. Terrible, horrible things, just terrible. Oh, look at that, the ants are starting to attack one. Yeah, so those ants there are uh, having a go at Mr. or Mrs. Caterpillar there. I don't know if that's a, a millipede or something. Uh, all sorts of critters have uh, sprung out since I moved that piece of timber. And I better hurry up because um, these guys and girls are starting to boogie and starting to move around. I do have a strategy here to deal with this. I'm going to pull these timbers out one by one and um, give them a lick of fire. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, I wonder where some of these critters got to. There were so many of them when that tree was infest that infestated. I can get them over this timber over here, dump it down and, and off they come. Well, I'm out here, I've just noticed I think it's a millipede and I know I'll be corrected if I'm wrong. Just crawling with the bricks there. I wonder if they're going for the ants or not, or the ants are ignoring them. I'm not exactly sure what they eat. Uh, there's a couple of them here. This is just one that's decided to take a walk on the bricks. And now it's time to come in and take a look at these pesky caterpillars. But boy, where have they all gone? That's really strange, isn't it? There's one there. And there's actually a couple there. Hmm. I wonder. I've got a sneaky suspicion if I roll this over, the nightmare will be revealed. They love to get into the shade. And there they are in all their glory. I'm pretty sure that's the same critters that were up on the tree, taking out every leaf in sight. Well, there's one on the move there. They can move very fast when they want to. Uh, they're very hairy and scary looking. They've got lots of little feet underneath them. If I just turn the thing over, you'll start to see the underneath of it. It wants to play, there we go. Yeah, I think they're a bit scary on the underneath bit than they are on the top. They're just hairy and scary on top, but they've got all these little sort of feet that go on under underneath. Yeah, it's not liking me prodding it, is it, hey? Uh, but don't worry, little one. Your days will soon be over, so my menacing with you will be the least of your worries. I'm pretty certain these are highly destructive pests, and that's why I'm getting rid of them. What I've noticed is that it thinks uh, the camera is a safe place to go. It sees it as a dark spot. They seem to want to wander towards dark all the time. Well, I've had enough playing with them. Time to get rid of these damn pests, I say. I'll give that a bit of a shake. Get them off the pole. Okay, here we go. As they're trying to scamper away, a bit of heat's going to come their way. Good night, sister. Big time. Ooh, they're cooking up nicely. Oh, I hope I've got them all any more than wriggling and jiggling in there. Oh, I see a couple there moving. I'll fix that. Sorted. Well, I tell you what, they cook up really fast. It was actually quite a nice smell uh, when they were cooking. A very sort of chickeny sort of smell. I dare say there's some countries where little bugs like this are a del delicacy. I was actually half tempted to have a nibble of one, but who knows, it might be poisonous. I wouldn't want to do anything that silly, would I? I mean, the best thing is, I'm pretty sure I didn't overcook them, they're still nice and juicy, yeah. Now, I'm pretty certain these are pests, and I'm very glad to be rid of them. I know there'll be some people saying, oh, but Leo, they deserve to live, but because I didn't use insecticide to kill these, they will have another purpose in the circle of life, and let me show you. 
I know there's all this ant activity up on my front gate and I'm pretty sure they're going to be appreciative of a nice free meal of these lovely, lovely, very nicely cooked caterpillars, yeah! And the ant colony here are going to think, wow, we've got a massive, massive meal here and they're going to take this out or a bird's going to see these critters up on the bricks here and come along and have some of the best cooked caterpillar on the planet. I think the ants will do most of the damage there and I'm um, just thinking of damage Look down here, there's one that I missed. Okay, come with me, little buddy. I got someone very special for you to meet. You're gonna love him. And he's one hot date with destiny. Good night, sister. Dustin. Now come and meet the ant colony, because I'd hate you to be away from your little buddies. There you go, home and hosed. Yeah, those ants that live on my front fence here, they're going to be very happy. They've changed the direction of the way they're moving already. I can see they've started to do a track up here, up to the top here, and up there is a, enough caterpillars there to feed them for a million years. I've just noticed something horrific, and it's just over there. I have to be quick. There, it's another one of those damn caterpillars. I'm too lazy to get the flamethrower out, so I'll just finish it off like that. And if I mince it up, it'll be something for the... Uh, for the ants to chew into and actually that thing there has just appeared wow it's going to be a feast for everyone look at that whatever that thing there is just came running towards it probably could smell it it's going to have a feed as well there you go i'm solving the problem for so many critters no one's going to be hungry in the middle of winter i'm just glad i've got rid of another bunch of these horrible caterpillars i really like it for the fact that i'm feeding the ants here and the ant nest on the front gate is actually very very awesome these little ants uh, they work all through winter, which is when this video is being shot, uh, but I'm a little bit surprised to find these caterpillars in that sort of very strange hidey hole. I wonder what they're up to, and I'd hate to think I'm going to have another infestation of these critters again. Horrible things. Highly destructive. And I suppose it'd be nice to say this at the end. Remember when you're playing with nature, always put it back where you found it.